This is a challenge to you to read the policy document we've just produced around resetting and reforming NHS services for patients with multiple sclerosis. We, as a writing committee, want to take the opportunities provided by the COVID-19 pandemic forward uh, into a new way of running MS services uh, under the, in the NHS. It's quite clear that uh, we've uh, moved to digital platforms, we have new ways of working, and can we take the best of what COVID-19 has provided us forward uh, to transform uh, NHS services? One of the things that also was highlighted by the COVID-19 pandemic was the inequalities, the issues around manpower planning, training, leadership, all these important issues that emerged need to be grasped uh, as an opportunity to reset uh, and reformat the way we practice multiple sclerosis in NHS. So please read the document, support it. If you've got any queries, get back to us. We want you to adopt our recommendations as much as possible. Thank you. The impact of COVID-19 has been profound on people living with multiple sclerosis, as well as placing a strain on MS services that were already challenged. Across the NHS, the majority of specialist services, including MS services, redeployed staff to support the wider health service. This meant that for prolonged periods over the last year, only minimal MS services have been provided. COVID-19 resulted in delayed access to or cancelled outpatient appointments, while face-to-face -face contact was replaced with remote consultations. MS waiting lists were already too long, and they've grown significantly over the last 12 months. The outlook for the short and the medium term is bleak unless fundamental changes are made. The unprecedented challenge of dealing with COVID-19 for the NHS is likely to change the way the health and care services for MS are planned, commissioned and delivered for the foreseeable future. And yet, despite the challenges, there's been significant transformation across many MS services. The pandemic has provided a catalyst for change. I have heard time and time again of services that were transformed in a matter of days, enabling a leaner, more agile way of working. The speed of adoption of new ways of working has been mind-blowing. At a time of crisis, health professionals across the MS sector have truly been the change makers. The pandemic has stimulated greater innovation and service transformation, helping to consolidate ideas about how services must change and what now needs to happen. But MS services are at a crossroads. There is now the opportunity to reflect and learn about how much each and every service has adapted and evolved over the last 12 months, and then rethink how services could be delivered differently. Once the NHS has the chance to reset, as this most acute phase of COVID-19 eases, there will be a huge opportunity for MS services to change permanently for the better. We could be on the verge of a new era for MS services. COVID-19 has provided an opportunity for MS services to reset and reform with recognition of the innovative practices that have materialized during this pandemic. The Reset and Reform report highlights six areas in particular that can help transform the MS sector. Nothing will change without addressing workforce and capacity challenges through better utilization of the MS workforce. There is need for better leadership development for MS healthcare professionals. And the whole sector must work better together to ensure MS has a place in local priority setting discussions to enable good service planning. Embracing these and the other recommendations in the report can only help to drive the successful implementation of the optimal pathway for MS, which will finally emerge later in 2021. The MS sector has come so far in the last year. Many opportunities have emerged despite COVID-19. 
but they must now be seized proactively. Otherwise, simply pressing Control, Alt and Delete and resetting MS services back to where they were in March 2020 would be letting down so many people living every day with multiple sclerosis. We know that the pandemic stimulated greater innovation and service transformation and it's consolidated how MS services need to change for the future and what now needs to happen. For the future, what we need to do now is identify a leader who can support local services to change. And I'd ask each and every one of you to think about being a torchbearer for MS services so that for the future, they are fit for purpose. Share with us how you're adapting and what help you need and we'll try and support you wherever we can. <laughs>